and welcome back to another adventure of The Walking Dead. Hi everybody, um, we're going to go ahead and play the next episode. Um, episode 4, around every corner, looks like we go in a sewer, or a nuclear silo. Let's find out. PlayStation lag, go! Seriously, come on. Uh, loading. Black screen of nothingness. I command you. Come on. PlayStation 3 lols! Hello, 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 well, hello, well. I mean, you, you, this is just frustrating. Okay, here we go. I've heard enough out of you, okay, Doug? Now, what the fuck's the problem? Hey! No! Just get in. I'll figure out what to do with you. I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't... Shut up, Chuck. What do we do? Don't tell me anything. Okay. I'll do it. I killed the boy. We need to it help fight him or me. our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We got a jump! I'm pretty what? sure I no said way. I'll kill you. Why? You stay here and we'll go with your lady. The hell you will! No, I don't want her. She seems controlling. Shit! Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Who is this? I don't know. But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Loading again. My arch nemesis. Brown screen. I mean, at least they could have like a zombie there. Telltale Games presents. It's the Walking Bread. Uh, bread. I love bread, but I cannot eat it. It's too much bread. It's not enough. So where are we? <laughs> We're just like walking around this town apparently. Well, most of us. The new guy's limping. Clementine, stop dawdling. Can't I just hold it? Just no, Clementine, you're being punished. Maybe close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can. Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. You know stuff I want to know. His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. We need to keep moving. It's not safe to stop out here in the open. We need to keep moving. He can rest after we find a boat and get out on the water. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. We'll carry him. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Me and Ben got it. Or leave him. What? No, that's not an option. 
We can't- Lady, I've known you for all of 12 hours. You don't get to say we unless you mean just you and him. You know, since this all started, I've seen the best come out of a lot of people and the worst come out of a lot of others. Guess we know which side you came down on. There you go again. We. There is no... I'll help we. carry him. There's us, and there's you and your boyfriend slowing us down. You need some help with him? Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Oh, me here. Give me your arm. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's It's time to go to church, everybody. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Mormons. Someone's up there. Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive. It seems it goes. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me. We should just smash the radio and just be done with it. This guy's watching us. The hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Oh, great. More zombies. They just came out of nowhere. <laughs> They're shuffling toward us. Run! Everybody, run! You cannot run zombies. You're so slow. Harry Clementine. Jesus. <laughs> Should I help him? Um, die, zombie! A little too close, don't you think? You're alive, ain't you? Ben! No! Ben! Help her! Help her, Ben! Ben! God damn it! Die! You too! You too! What's else die? Hey, I'm shooting you! No! Old man! I don't need you anymore! Okay, it's up with you! Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Ah! He's kicking butt. In trouble. We gotta help him. We're getting sandwiched. No we gotta go now. I'll be fine. Just go. We run somewhere. I'll get the door. And <laughs> he fell. You okay? Ah, uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. That's shit. It's gonna get infected. We gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. I'll get Seems find like a way in. Away. I'll be MacGyver. Do 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 do. That show was awesome.
They should put that kind of show back on. Show where you get to learn things, you know? It's not where it's just not stupid things. Hello, Clementine. What are you thinking about? Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? Um, try not to worry, Clementine. I'll protect you. Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? We're a lot smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. He used to have a pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. And when we woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. Just stay away from me. <laughs> and we'll see about Clementine? No. I'm not a cookie, Clementine. But maybe I am. I would be chocolate chip. The best cookie of all. I'm alright. You're not alright. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. Don't worry, man. She's just worried, probably. Um... She's just worried about you, man. Yeah. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit Calm down. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I will help. I want to talk to people. I need to yell at Ben. Ben! What'd you do to Clementine? You left her. Ben. I'm getting angry. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Yeah, well, I figured that's probably for the best. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. All right. So we yelled at Ben. Even though he's just a kid, you know, he needs a man up. Because he's, he's part of this group, and we all need to be, um, you know, useful. Even Clementine was useful. This is a little girl, she got us out of that meat locker. And saw. Wait, what? Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Yeah, well, I mean, you could boil it. And drink it. I don't want to dig up the grave. Looks like something was buried here. The zombie. Um. How's the door coming? Found a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Um, how you holding up, Kenny? Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. Think anyone's inside? You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. Stupid chair. Whoever was here did a pretty good job today. fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. What? What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. 
My neighborhood went just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so where's the dog? No. No. Move, Kenny. I'm smashing this door yeah, through. You'll be able to bust through that. I don't... What's this do? I want X. Can I back through it? Dude, you're not gonna break that thing open. All you're gonna do is make a lot of noise we don't need. Fine, Omid. I'll go up and go over here and dig up the dog. Maybe he's over here. Please be here. Empty. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Yeah. I like doggies. I don't want to see them die. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Hey, what's buried down there? Um... Gold and treasure doubloons. Uh... I don't know. Don't know yet. Clementine, honey. Come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Maybe it's Spanish treasure. We can all hope, right? Oh, God. That smell. doesn't look like gold. It looks like a dead rat. We're a dead cat. Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you I said I'm fine, okay? <laughs> we just decapitated the poor dog. Ugh. Ooh. Stinks like hell. Well, I don't need that anymore. I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. We're not gonna bury the dog. Okay, game. Let's just dig up the dog after we're done with it and just leave it there. There goes nothing. Yes! God damn! How are we gonna get in there? in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Okay. Be careful, man. <clears throat> it's no good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Are you okay? Say something! I didn't want to yell at her and say the GD word, but that's what I'm kind of thinking. Ta da! <clears throat> uh, you should have asked me first, Clementine. Good work, Clem. But don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, and you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. I'm not stopping you from walking inside. I'm just talking to Clementine. It's okay from here. Everybody in. Come on, Limpy. She even calls you that, I bet. Woo! He doesn't like me. No, it's okay. I'm good. feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe.
So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? God, tell you what? This was gonna happen. That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I just found out well, yesterday. I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? Um, in case you haven't noticed, they're there's stalking a lot of us. Folks out like I said before, they're it's watching the us. So, yeah. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being and followed. And I don't like All the being more reason followed. to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. We need to go we find need to make Chuck. Sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> Alright, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Yeah, I know how to check a house, Kenny. Is there anything I can do? Thanks, I got it. Hang out with Chris and Omid until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm happy, Clementine. Okay. All empty. Does the water work? Nothing. Water's off. Guess they don't have a well. Microwave. <laughs> Why would the microwave work? No power. Dog food. Eat some, Lee. You're starving. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. What do you mean you're not that hungry? You haven't ate in three months. I mean, if I didn't eat in three months, I probably would eat dog food. I'm not that Gee, Just saying. I need to finish if I was in the zombie apocalypse and we came down to either dying or eating dog food, I might just eat the dog food to survive. I wouldn't eat wet dog food, but this is probably make... Don't they make that stuff out of, like, corn and, like... They have, like, chickens. I've seen the dog food commercials. On TV. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking at. <laughs> Ooh. Did I just look myself into a cooner? Oh well. I've never eaten dog food, I promise. No, Walter. Sad face. Oh, that's sad. All cleaned out. I mean, if you're in that survival situation, and the only nut nourishment you have is dog food, do you eat it, viewers? That is my question to you. There's a clock here. Must have stopped working a while ago. How's it coming? Ooh, whiskey. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Are you seriously? 
Take the whiskey. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay uh, thirsty. Take the whiskey and pour it on Omid's leg. That'll fix his wound. It's what they used to do in the olden times. You know, when like like the Civil War. Isn't that what they used to do? Heavy. Use like alcohol. Pull that thing too far. I mean, it would disinfect it, I would think. No dinner for us, I guess. Finally, don't take the bottle of whiskey. Clementine! Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Hey, guys. How's the house looking? Not I don't know. The first floor yet. But so far, so good. Looks pretty good so far. Your leg feeling it or any better, Omi? How's that couch treating you, Omi? I'm all right. I feel you. Um. Whatever. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the. I like the boat sure plan. Thanks, Lee. Um... Okay. Not exactly my style. Look at the doggy. Sad. The doggy is dead. His name is Walter. And he liked chicken. All clear in here. All right, so let's check this door. Nothing hard. Such a dinky bathroom. God. Just one more to check. <laughs> I don't know, I feel claustrophobic in bathrooms like those. It's like a little tomb, you know? Kenny and Ben have the same. Oh wait, Come. what am I doing? I should finish checking down here. Oh, here's a door. I thought that what was happened? an axe. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. 